These are all the resource changes in Arms Against Tyranny. The first change is general one and applies to basically every country in every place that has any resources. And that's the fact that the compliance got changed a little bit. Back in the day, before Arms Against Tyranny, with 100% compliance, countries would get 18% local non-core manpower, 65% local factories and 60% local resources. Now they get 65% local resources, so all the countries get like one or two extra resources per each state. For example, Netherlands had 43 oil in the state of Curaçao before Arms Against Tyranny, now it has 44 oil. It's just a minor difference. Besides these changes, there's some actual changes, which I'm gonna mention right now. In all of the Americas, only difference is in Greenland itself. Greenland used to have nothing, and now it has a total of 10 base aluminum. Just like always, nothing was changed in South America or in Asia, but there were some changes in Africa. The one that everyone's talking about are the changes in the West Africa. First things first, Ghana used to have no resources, now it has some resources. Total of 8 base steel, 8 base tungsten and 4 base chromium. Other place that got changed in West Africa is Sierra Leone. It used to have nothing, now it has base 32 steel, which means that it has 41 steel when you play as UK. That's a lot of steel. Another smaller change was in South Africa, in the state of Transvaal, which used to have 5 base steel and now it has 11 doubling their steel industry pretty much. Besides that, Egypt also got some extra resources in the state of Alexandria, which used to have only one oil, now it also has free steel and free tungsten. Besides that, Maghreb saw some differences as well. For example, Tunisia got a bunch of steel, going up from base 6 steel up to base 31 steel, basically having 5 times the steel it used to have before this DLC. Algeria always had tons of steel, but now it has even more, going up from base 26 to 65 almost tripling its steel output. Spanish Africa was not forgotten either, going up from 23 base steel to 40, almost doubling its steel, having more steel than the rest of entire Spain. Another country that was buffed was Hungary. They used to have 3 base steel in Northern Hungary, now they have 6 base. Not a massive difference, but it can have to be a difference between creating an agency and not having to sacrifice any of your industry and creating an agency and having to actually sacrifice some industry. However, the country that definitely got buffed was Austria. State of Upper Austria went up from 5 base steel to 15 base steel. Sweden was also buffed. First things first, the state of Norland now has as much resources as it had before, but back in the day it had a level 2 infrastructure. Now one part of it has level 3, boosting its iron industry just a little bit. And besides that, what used to be Lapland also got buffed. Basically, this northern state of Norrbotten has identical resources to what this entire state used to have back in the day. Which means that all the resources in this state right here are basically what Sweden ended up having as a bonus. We talked about buffs so far, let's now talk about nerfs. First things first, Norway had a small nerf. It wasn't really a nerf. The base value of the resources hasn't changed, but the actual value has. All things considered, Sweden lost one aluminum in the south, while in the north they lost one steel and two tungsten. Another place that had a similar situation was Albania. They have lost one aluminum and two chromium because this state was split into two. Now to some actual nerves. France lost tons of steel. Basically, every single French state which used to have steel got nerfed in the terms of steel. Only state that wasn't nerfed was Franche Comte because I think they forgot about it. It still has 50 steel just like it used to have. Biggest change is in the state of Alsace-Lorraine, which used to have 170 steel, now it has only 76. French steel was so nerfed to the point that Algiers is now the state with the most steel in entire France. German steel was also nerfed. Basically, in every single state that has steel, amount of steel has been nerfed. That's super funny because now Katowice has more steel than the rest of Silesia combined. The only exception to this rule was was Rhineland, which actually got a little bit buffed. If I remember correctly, it used to have 52 steel, while it has 63 now. Another place that was slightly nerfed was the Hinterpommern with the aluminum. They used to have 13 total aluminum, now they have 10 total aluminum. We all know that Portugal has tons of tungsten, right? Well, that got nerfed. The state of Lisbon used to have 50 base tungsten, and now it has only 32. While the state of Guarda used to have 150 tungsten as base, and now it has only 95. So yeah, Portugal lost about one third of its tungsten, still that's tons of tungsten there. At the end of the day, what has this DLC changed? It has buffed Sweden a little bit, it has nerfed Germany, France and Portugal, but it still doesn't make that much of a difference. And I'd say only country that was reasonably buffed is actually Austria. And I guess Liberia got slightly changed because now you can actually fight against the Allies and have some steal if you capture Sierra Leone.